Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and today we are going to take a break from our more usual 3D printing videos to look at a pretty cool little laser engraver that I got in. Uh, Banggood actually contacted me, asked if I was interested in reviewing something for you guys, so I picked out this engraver because I've always been interested in having a laser engraver and thought this would be a kind of a cool way to at least see how it works and maybe use it for a project or two. The laser engraver came packaged extremely nicely, and right away when I took it out of the box, I realized that it was a lot smaller than I had initially anticipated, and the whole thing is only 213 by 140 by 140 millimeters in size. This was more on me not looking at the dimensions or taking them into consideration, um, you know, that were on the product page. I was very impressed right off the bat by the whole machine and how solid it is. It's basically a unibody aluminum frame. Assembling this thing was extremely easy and the only uh, actual physical installation was adding two screws to the laser head and putting the laser into place, which took roughly a minute or two. One thing that bothered me right away was how short the power supply as well as the USB cable for the machine are. I would have liked to have been able to use this engraver in my shelf and with the cables only being three feet, uh, it's less than ideal for sure. The USB cable is a micro USB cable, so that's not as big of a deal because I do have longer ones, but for the power supply cable, I do wish that it was like a five or six footer. The engraver comes with a manual that is really not that great, but it at least gives you enough to kind of set you on your path to figure the rest out. Uh, setup on the computer was really easy. The engraver does come with the USB flash drive that is loaded with the software drivers and a folder full of sample pictures for the machine. Uh, my computer didn't actually require the driver and the software auto detected the laser as soon as I had plugged it in. The best way to learn the software is to just mess around with it. It is relatively simple, but the English and wording on certain parts of it is definitely a bit confusing. There is a slider that allows you to choose burn time, which in my mind meant how long the process would take, but it actually is a multiplier for the laser's intensity. So I learned that after about three or four engravings. And like I said, it's a definitely a learning curve or learning uh, trial and error experience. The actual engraving area is only 38 by 38 millimeters, which I know is tiny and less than ideal for a lot of applications. It is supposed to be able to engrave paper, cardboard, leather, wood, and organic glass. According to the product page, I was able to pretty much try it all out, um, but for the wood, I actually ended up using a 3D printed part that was printed in wood filament. I had extremely good luck with the paper and cardboard and the end result was phenomenal. It was extremely clear and uh, you know high detail. I tried it on my phone cover, which I want to say is some kind of like a plastic -y rubber and it didn't work out too well, which could have been due to, again, me not really knowing how the burn um, multiplier worked. It did a pretty good job on my leather wallet and I also think that if I had upped the laser's burn time a bit, it would have been even better. For the printed part, it worked out okay, but not great. Again, this also could have been due to me not really knowing what I was doing with the lack of instructions. It does you know, definitely been a trial and error experience for me. All in all, I had a lot of fun with this little engraver and I do have a few small things I plan on using it for. I do think it is a great engraver for the price at around 90 US dollars, including shipping. It's uh, at least enough to kind of get your feet wet. Personally for myself, I would like one that is quite a lot bigger, which may lead to me building a larger one down the line and maybe harvesting parts from this little engraver. I could easily just swap out the laser head and throw it onto one of my printers and use a 3D printer as a laser engraver, which would up the you know dimensions of the uh, engravable area by quite a lot. Uh, if you do want to find out more or purchase one of these little engravers for yourself, links will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smack the like button. If you've got any ideas for anything you'd like to see done with it, let me know. I'm definitely uh, you know, interested in hearing if there's anything that you are thinking of that uh, is something I could do that'd be pretty cool with it. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video, and I am out. Peace, guys.